Turn in your King James Bible to the book of Psalms, uh, Psalm 89 to be specific. More proof that Jesus is God Almighty. I'm going to show you a little bit more here. Uh, there are wicked people out there that seem to think that Jesus was just a man, that he never claimed to be God, that there's no proof that Jesus was God. Um, you're wrong. We're going through the book of Psalms right now as a family in our evening uh, time of Bible study, and then we sing a hymn every night, seven days a week, 365 days a year, and we love it. But we were going through Psalm 89 the other night and read this through this, and I thought, okay, there's another proof of the deity of Jesus Christ. You want another you know, way to prove that he is actually God manifest in the flesh? Here's a good one. Psalm 89, verses 8 through 9. O Lord God of hosts. Is there any confusion about who that is? Oh, no, that's God. God the Father. O Lord God of hosts, who is a strong Lord like unto thee, or to thy faithfulness round about thee? Thou rulest the raging of the sea. When the waves thereof arise, thou stillest them. Hmm. If you know your Bible, you already know where I'm going. But we'll stay in Psalms for a little bit longer. Psalms 107. Psalm 107, <clears throat> verse 23 through 25. They that go down to the sea in ships that do business in great waters, these see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. For he commandeth and raiseth the stormy wind, which lifteth up the waves thereof. So the Lord has complete control over the winds and the waves of the sea. He can tell them to be still. He can tell them to raise up. That's what God can do. Is Jesus God? Go to Mark. Mark chapter 4 in the New Testament. And we, we will read one of the eyewitness accounts of what Jesus Christ did. Proving that he is God. Mark chapter 4, verse 35 through 41 the Bible says, In the same day when the even was come, he saith unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him, and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. He stillest the wind and the waves. Remember what it said back in Psalms. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? Hmm. And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? He's God. Jesus is God. If you don't believe that, then you're on your way to hell. It's just that simple. There's no argument here. Well, I reject the New Testament. Then you're on your way to hell. Well, I'm a Jew and I, I don't believe that Jesus was the Messiah and I don't believe that. Then you're on your way to hell. It's just that simple. If you don't have the Father, or if you don't have the Son, if you don't acknowledge the Son, then you don't have the Father. You have, you're an Antichrist, according to the book of 1 John. It's just that simple.